Hello everyone. This tutorial is going to be using the new support for Lottie animations in Webflow. We're going to be creating a custom animated icon for a drop down menu. And this is a simple way to give a premium feel to any websites you build just by giving it a little bit of movement. After you make these a couple of times, I think you'll be able to create new ones in about 10 minutes. We're going to go pretty fast here, so let's get started. You're going to need Illustrator, After Effects, Webflow, and the Body Movement extension for After Effects. If you don't have it, the easiest way to get it is here on Adobe Exchange. And when you add the extension from here, through the magic of Creative Cloud, the next time you open After Effects, Body Moving will be installed. Once we've got that, we will create the icon in Illustrator. This is just three rounded rectangles. And the important step here is each shape needs to be in its own layer. Otherwise, you won't be able to animate it. And you want your icon to fill most of the artboard. We'll save this as an Illustrator document, and then we'll drag it into After Effects. We want to import this as a composition. Next, we'll drag the comp down here, double click on it to reveal its layers. I have an extra one, so I'm just going to delete that. And with all your layers selected, we are going to right click, go down to Create, and Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Now we can delete all of the Illustrator layers. And we're ready to animate. You can animate this by going to the drop down, Transform Options. You create keyframes by pressing the stopwatch where you want your first keyframe to be and the diamond shape to the left to add additional keyframes. We'll move the top and bottom rectangles to cover the middle one. And we'll hide the middle one by adjusting its opacity down. Then we'll rotate the remaining two to get this. Next, just change the duration, and we are done. One note here, if anything, make your project a bit slower than you want it. We can speed it up in Webflow, but if we slow it down, we're going to lose some quality. Let's select all the layers and go to Window, Extensions, Body Moving. For this project, we're just going to use the default settings. Select the comp here and give it an export destination. Click Save and then click Render. Now with our Webflow project open, we're going to drag the JSON file into Webflow. And we can see a little preview here. We'll just drag this into the menu button portion of our navbar. Let's resize this to be 20 by 20. And then we're going to select the Menu button. This is what we want our trigger to be for the animation. So let's go Interactions, Element Trigger, and select Mouse Click. On first click, Start an Animation. We're going to name this and then select our icon. We choose the Lottie animation and set it to the end. And this is too long, so we're just going to change the duration. Now let's configure the second click. It's the exact same process, but we want to animate to frame zero. Let's preview this and see if it works. All right, I'm happy with that. Hope this was helpful. We are going to include a black and a white icon in JSON format for free to download in the description box. If you've got any questions, I'd love to hear them and answer them. And if you got some value from this, show us some love, and I'll see you next time.